Okay, hi Jonathan. Um, please forgive me for taking uh, so long and getting this to you, but um, here we have it, uh, lesson four. Um, what I've got for you here at the beginning is uh, down the line and catty view of your swing as we started the lesson. This was, uh, remember, after the previous lesson, which I sent uh, a link to, by the way, to all the video from the previous lesson. There's no audio on it, but it's all that video we talked about at the beginning of this lesson. Uh, where we had previously worked uh, mostly on um, on the position of your hands as you came through the ball uh, to position P8 so that your hands were a little bit more open and not rolled over, which uh, was causing you to, part in part, to pull the ball to the left. So uh, in this one, you can see you still have a great deal of overswinging here um, in terms of the top going past the point of uh, 90 degrees and bending your left arm. But I'm most concerned with that right knee and the uh, impact position. These are a little out of sync uh, at this point, but I'll, I'll show you. Uh, I'll, I'll rewind and get them in sync from the top of the, uh, top of the swing here and uh, so that we can watch at impact uh, what happens. And so, as you can see, your left knee is bent even more than it was at the uh, address position when you get to the top, and remember, we talked about the fact that you could uh, you'd have more control over turning your hips and uh, and your shoulders in relation to your hips if you straighten that knee. I'm not saying make it completely straight, but it should be straightened from the flex position that it was in at the uh, at the address uh, position or at the setup. And you can see the first thing you do is bend that knee even before you get to the top. You're bending that knee and actually squatting down. Your head stays pretty level. It moves actually a little bit forward. But then at impact, you can see that um, you're, you're kind of way behind the ball. Here you can see where your hands come out right at the at the bicep area, which we talked about, which is good. And your head was still in the circle, at least from the down-the-line view. But we're going to review uh, from the front view. Your whole body has moved forward. So, so uh, these are the little things. But that's a great uh, finish position, and that's what we were working on. Here's the point at which uh, I was talking about where your hands come out right at the bicep there. And you can see that your head is still in the, um, in the circle on the left and uh, from down the line. But look, where, look how far forward you've moved it in the uh, caddy view. Uh, if your head was still in the circle there, then we'd have something. And I'm going to show you in the drill uh, that we worked on how, that, how you can actually do that. You're, you're capable of doing that. All you got to do is is tuck that butt in a little bit more so so that your you know so that the, your whole body is curved a little bit more and your head stays back there it's a right tilting actually is what it is that keeps that head in the um, in the circle from down the line and you got that right but your whole body has slid forward at this point so um we're gonna take a look at that uh, a little bit more the next time We'll move back now to the um, go back now to the impact position, and um, here you can. Uh, we have to work on this because um, <clears throat> this is a you, you've definitely casted the club at this point, um, and it's it's uh, it's way behind your body. So you can see your head is in a really good position. Um, that knee has that right knee has sort of jutted out as opposed to uh, as opposed to forward, and you see how your your right heel is lifted up off the ground in these pictures. I'll show you in relation to the drill that we that we learned that um, uh, that's not that desirable of a of a position, and your left wrist is cuffed opposed to straight, and uh, as we already learned that, that that will turn the club to the left to uh, start that ball in the uh, leftward uh, direction. And uh, and here it is stopped at the top of the backswing. Top of the backswing, I think that you really have to limit that swing. I know you want to turn those shoulders more than 90 degrees, but maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe we need to just keep the arm straight. You can still turn the shoulders and keep that arm straight. So the club isn't actually pointing. You see the, point, the club is pointing to the right of the target. That's that's just too far. So now here's what I did for you here is that I, 
uh, I, I was going to show you your swing compared to uh, compared to Grant, like we always do. But then I, I noticed that this uh, <laughs> this drill that we did, you kind of look like Grant here. This is really good. I'd like the feet to be flared out a little bit more on the right there, but it's 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 getting much better now. Watch this. This is just with a shorter swing, a much shorter swing. Uh, remember, we were talking about just relaxing and just <clears throat> concentrate on hitting the ball. See all that dipping and and uh, over swinging at the top and bending the the knee on the left picture. It goes away on the right picture. And then when you get back down to impact position, look at that. Look at the difference there between that impact position and of course you've you've done a great job on incorporating the uh, the uh, flying wedge drill into your PA position there where your where your right arm is parallel to the ground on the follow through. That looks really good. So um, so we'll back this up just a little bit more and we'll go through these uh, individual uh, individual positions on the way back. Um, and, and then I have some uh, stills with the lines drawn on them. But here you see, this is the uh, P8 position where your right arm is parallel to the ground um, on the uh, on the follow through. And uh, you can see that you've incorporated that uh, flying wedge drill very nicely. Your right hand has not rolled over in these pictures. Your left arm, is, or your right arm is pretty straight. I'd like it to be a little bit straighter right, right there. And uh, you look at the difference between your heel position on the right foot there. See, your heel is right where it's supposed to be on the in the drill. When you take it easy is when you really do it right. It's all that uh, over trying to overpower it that uh, uh, that gets to be a problem for you. And I want to get this uh, uh, in sync here. There we go. So that's the impact position. And you can see the impact position is a tremendous difference in terms of how straight the line is between your shoulder and the ball. Uh, straight down, your, the handle is in front of the ball as opposed to behind the ball here. Here, the uh, you're actually hitting up on the ball. The other one, you're hitting down on it. And uh, and here, you have a tendency to uh, flip it. And as you know, that turns the club face to the left. And, and uh, we'll start the ball to the left. So, um, and, um, hold on a second here. And then this is a tremendous, tremendous difference in the, uh, the P6 position where you're coming down into impact. And uh, look how far your hands are from the, uh, uh, they're close to your leg in the picture on the right where you were doing the drill. And your knee is sort of facing forward. Your, your right heel is still on the ground and still in front of the ball, or still in front of the toe, uh, which it should be. And in the other picture, your hands are so far away from your body, you're really way in front of it as we say so um uh here's some stills with some lines drawn in them and uh even at the address position here in the drill remember we turned your uh we turned your right hand over a little bit uh, for a weaker a little bit weaker grip there on the right hand so it rolled you wanted it to roll over to the right look what it did to your arm it's uh, such a much better position the other one the arm is bent this one your arm is a little bit straighter at the uh Dress position that looks. I think that looks really, really good. Um, your head uh, and your whole body could be maybe a little bit back further and back of the ball, but we'll we'll work with that as a detail in the final when we get toward the final lesson. But so far, that that's in the drill portion. This looks really, really good. I was really pleased with that. Your head is even tilted down a little bit more while your body is straighter up. In the um, uh, P4 position at the top of the backswing. Uh, notice on the left picture, your head is really moved to the right and out of the circle. And now you're starting to like, fall, bend over to the uh, to the left. This is where your knee starts bending again, uh, even though it was straight slightly before that. But it, uh, it starts bending again before you even reach the top. And you can see your uh, left heel is off the ground as opposed to on the drill. Look, I mean, just look at the difference. It looks so solid there on the right. Your hips have turned. Your knee is straight, so it's released your hips to turn almost as far as they are turned in the other picture. So, you know, it doesn't look like there's much reason to do all that other stuff in the other in the uh, left-hand picture. Uh, your shoulders, it's true, have not turned as much, but we can get them to turn a little bit more still with you 
your body in the same position as it is on the right hand side in the drill. Remember, this is the drill that I suggest you start out every practice session with um, doing these drills, especially this one that seems to, I call it the tempo, tempo drill, where you're seemingly just, you're trying real hard to maintain just a, a short swing, not, not trying to hit the ball too far, mostly concentrating on making firm contact with your hands in front of the ball. And look at this P7 position, the impact position on the drill on the right side compared to the left on the left here body is way in front of the, uh, the ball and your hands and uh, whereas on the right you know the, the, the low part of the swing is directly below your left shoulder so that's the straight line going down that's the low part and you're hitting the ball about uh, three balls behind that and you're hitting down on it because you're because there's a straight line between your shoulder and the ball that's perfect that's the perfect position your right heel is still on the ground look at that compared to the left foot that's a uh, that's a tremendous difference, and it just looks way more like a like a professional golfer. So let's try and ingrain that these positions. Keep looking at these pictures, and let's try and ingrain those positions as part of your normal swing. And of course, on the uh, PA position, now you know actually both of these look pretty good. What I'd really like to have is something like right in between, if you could. <laughs> your head has moved uh, like forward just a little bit in the um, in the left one. As you saw, it really moves forward uh, when the arms get around to coming through the shoulder on the other side, but they're coming through the bicep on the other side. But look at how far your body is in front of the line where your center point was before. Whereas in the left one, your body has really turned around the pivot in the middle. Uh, if you could if you could do something in between that where, you're, where your butt slid a little bit more to the uh, uh, to to your left in the in the right hand picture there, so that you form a little bit more of a C. You don't want to call it a reverse C, but uh, I mean, it, it, it basically your 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 hips, your butt should be tighter, uh, so that it is a little bit forward of where it is, and that would that would fix everything. Your head is nice and uh, centered, right? See, your head hasn't moved forward like it did. So this is what we'll work on, and uh, I'll call you and let you know about this uh, playing lesson. I think that sounds like a great idea, so um, I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.